Do you want to know how to get better at Call of Duty Black Ops 4? Well, doing this in Call of Duty will make you better. It will improve your game. It will take you to the next level. And nobody, I repeat, nobody will be able to stop you. This myth is 100% guaranteed. <laughs> it's time for your boys to drop some jewels on you. And speaking of jewels, you see me looking so icy. And witness my dark matter grind. Let's go, baby. This is the Dean Zone. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jimmy Dean again. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to the Dean Zone. But if you are one of my subscribers, or you've been here before, welcome back! <laughs> Let's go players. This is it man. Do you want to get better at the game? Do you want to be better at Call of Duty Black Ops 4? Well what you need to do is get on the grind. And I'm talking about that dark matter grind. I know what you're thinking, nah, Jimmy, that ain't for me. I don't care about camels. It's not about the camel. It's about you. It's about improving your game. It's about taking it to that other level, going from 0 to 100 real quick. Seriously. And the thing about the dark matter grind that most of you don't appreciate is the fact that you have to get out here and use every weapon in the game. Every gun, every knife, every pistol. You got to even use a rocket launcher on these boys. And you get out here and you grind for it. It's a serious grind. And not only do you by doing this, do you get the score, you get the camos, you get all that. That's not the important thing. The important thing is you become a killing machine. An unstoppable force in the game. By going for this dark matter grind. By going for this grind, it will improve your game in multiple ways. Such as your versatility. It will get you out of your comfort zone and force you to use weapons that you wouldn't normally lose. And look at your boy, unlocking diamond camels for ARs and SMGs in one game? Where do they do that at, player? Oh yeah, that's right, only in the Dean zone. But seriously, it will get you out of your comfort level. If you are an impatient player, it will force you to be patient when you're using sniper rifles and LMGs and that knife you have to be patient it will evolve your game if you are if you are a camper if you like to sit back and not play aggressively it will force you to be aggressive when you run around with smgs and shotguns and you got to get in their face like a can of mace by acquiring these skills and using all these weapons you will develop your own playstyle. which is how i got my playstyle. that crush life baby i camped the rush i rushed the camp Seriously, it would, you would develop patience. You would develop a skill set that most players in the game do not have because you are well-rounded. You are a well-rounded killing machine. By using every weapon, you will also understand every playstyle. So when you enter the lobby and you're playing against your enemies, whatever weapons they're using, you know the strengths of the weapon. You know the weaknesses of the weapons. You know how close they need to be with certain guns. You, and you develop playstyle that you thought you never would have. Your long range game will increase. Your mid range game will go to another level. And when you rush and you up close and in their face, you will be so aggressive player. You will scare yourself. These are skills that will help you improve all around versatility a well-oiled killing machine and with all these skills that you require I'm telling you you will be unstoppable you can't help but to improve now when you're going on this grind players you can do it one of two ways man you can just get out here and be reckless and do what you got to do to get these streaks or you can play it consistently to improve remember KD will go your KD is probably going to take a hit but in the long run player is going to benefit you because there's skill based matchmaking in the game and if your KD is lower where it's supposed to be like my KD right now when I started this grind I was probably like at a 3 2 to 3 4 now I'm at a uh, 2.6 somewhere 2.7 somewhere around like that but I'm done with the grind now my KD is about to go through the roof and my lobbies are going to be a little bit easier just a little bit easier than what it should be and my skill set oh player these boys won't know what hit them if I smack them in the back of the head with it real talk but you will develop these skills and you will be unstoppable. Your play style will develop and you might not you might even surprise yourself. You'll become good at weapons that you thought you would never become good with. 
And once you use all the garbage weapons, the trash weapons, and you finally done with your grind, and you go back to the weapons that you were most dominant with, you will be even better. Because the game will become so easy to you. Because you already went through the struggle of using garbage guns, garbage knives, garbage weapons. By the time you get back on your full grind, you won't even recognize yourself. You will be so much better at the game, it will scare you. Let alone scare your enemies because they won't want to be in the lobby with you. You will go hard in the paint, man. I'm telling you, it's about the grind. It's about improving. Don't look at it as you're chasing the camel. You're not chasing the camel. You're chasing improvement. You're chasing to better yourself. As you see me going ham in these videos and these clips, I'm using every specialist along with every gun. I develop my playstyle players as these boys getting teabagged. I develop my playstyles with each specialist, each weapon, each gun. It helps you know when to push, when to fall back. It helps you know when to be aggressive and when to be cautious. You play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And you will always be aware of your surroundings. No enemies will ever catch you off guard. Because you have already been around every play style in the game. You done used every weapon in the game. So nothing should surprise you. Period. You will be on a whole nother level. Real talk. You'll be like LeBron James out here playing basketball against fifth graders. You will be the GOAT. So taking it like that, man. Get on your grind and get it. It don't look at it as the camel. Look at this man like you going to college and you trying to graduate to that next level. You trying to get to the pros. And just like the NFL, man, 1% of people make it in the NFL from college. And only like 1% of the people that play Black Ops 4 will get that dark matter camel. But those one percenters, those one percenters are the best in the game. I'll take it from your boy, man. I do it all the time. I get on that grind. I get out here and get it. That's what I want you to do. Get better. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Because ain't nobody going to do it but you. And when you're done, man, when you finally get it, oh, player, you feel like you are the best in the game. You can get out here and make it rain. And when this pops up on the screen, that dark matter camo. Everyone will know you are legit. And that's coming from your boy, man. Real talk. So I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and the commentary. Because were you not entertained? Were you not entertained? This is the Dean Zone. Now smash that like button for your boy. <laughs> I'm out, man. Peace, love, and hair grease. One. Dean Zone, baby. <laughs> Get the most, not the lesser. This is sick as pimpin', you gon' end up on a stretcher.